News alert, your website will not rank for every search everybody ever puts into the internet. Get super clear on what your search ranking strategy is. This video will teach you how to build an SEO keyword list. Watch until the end to get access to a free landing page template that will get you started on a great strategy for converting new leads. Subscribe to this channel. I drop new content every Sunday night and help you refine your content strategy. I'm Joy Yule from Hire a Writer. I help brands like yours write better websites, write better blogs, write better emails, and write better ads. I help startups and copywriters go from zero to a comprehensive strategy that fills your lead pipeline and converts new customers. An SEO keyword list is the absolute foundation of your SEO strategy. You have to have one and you have to use it. Reality check, SEO is a game. If you have better keywords, you will play better. So first, what are SEO keywords? If a client comes to me and asks, where does my website rank? I say, hold up, that's the wrong question. <laughs> your website is not going to rank well ever. You're compared in the grand scheme of things against websites like Google and Amazon, right? So if you ask that question and want a real answer, you're gonna be super bummed out because you're like a millionth, right? The better question is, do you rank for search queries that you care about? So if you are a mobile pet grooming company, do you rank for mobile pet groomer? The right question is, do you rank for the search queries that get customers who will buy your good or service? That is what an SEO keyword strategy drills down. So you are not focused on your website holistically. You are focused on the content that is in it because the content that is on your website is what converts customers. SEO keywords and phrases are the things that people type into a search engine bar or tap into a search engine bar that get you found. There are four things that you need to be aware of and consider as you create an SEO keyword list for your brand. Number one is your customer persona. Now, that's marketing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Your customer persona is the profile of the person who you think is going to buy your brand. The reason that it matters for your SEO keyword list to have a refined customer persona is because people type like they talk. So when you're doing your customer persona research, you're drilling down into demographics, things like how much money somebody makes, where they come from, where they live, all of these things. There are colloquialisms, there are slang words, there are regional phrases. All of these things are gonna factor into your SEO keyword list. You're only gonna know them if you have a really solid customer persona. So that is the first piece that you have to have in place to inform your SEO keyword list. Number two, know your competitors. Who your competitors are on the internet may be different than who they are in real life. This is especially true if you are a brick and mortar company. Who your website is competing with could be different than who you're competing with across the street, right? So learn who your website competitors are and understand what their strategy is. Other brands have done this SEO keyword research. At least if they're outranking you, they have. So audit their websites, figure out what phrases and keywords they're ranking for, and this is gonna give you a giant list of keywords that you can start drilling down and harvesting good information for your brand from. I have a blog, gives you step-by-step -step instructions for how to do this. It has spreadsheets, sorry about that. It is really useful and it works. Number three, prioritize the list. So now you've got a spreadsheet, you've got thousands of keywords that you wanna rank for. Obviously, you know by now, you cannot write millions of words a week to fit all of the possible keywords, long tail key phrases into. So you're gonna start prioritizing the list. You're gonna do this by analyzing the metrics of the keywords and phrases for something called SERP analysis, search engine results page. So when you run your keywords through common tools, and I'll link some of those tools on the blog that goes with this video, like Moz or SpyFu, things like that, you're gonna get numbers. These numbers are gonna tell you how much volume that keyword gets, right? This is how many people are searching for that keyword on an average day. It's gonna tell you things like the authority score. It's gonna give you some important insight into whether or not that keyword and comp competition on that keyword is achievable for your brand. 
So once you've done that analysis, then you prioritize your keywords. You create these tiers. You have like top tier keywords. These are the keywords you're gonna include on every single website and every single blog. Then you've got your tier two that are a little bit maybe harder, a little bit more specific or niche. These are things that are gonna go on your consumable content, in your pillars, all of that. Once you prioritize these keywords, then you have a rock solid source of information every time you write a piece of copy that goes on your website. I'll get to number four in a second, but first, stop. Is this like drinking from a fire hydrant? I get that this is complicated. This is why people hire me, right? Because it's an SEO keyword process. It's, it's complex, but it is doable. And if you are in it on your own and you've got to do this yourself, you can learn it. Just use these resources, use the tools I've linked on the blog, drop a comment below. If you feel like you're overwhelmed, I can give you some insight, show you a light at the end of the tunnel. Step four, use the keywords. <laughs> this may sound silly, but I literally have worked with brands before who do all this research and then they write a website that's all about the feels. It's all about who they are as a brand and what they offer in the marketplace, which are awesome, important things. But if you're not including all the keywords that you've researched so tediously, then you're not getting any benefit. So make sure you use them. There is also strategy to how you use them, right? So you have these prioritized keyword lists Use them with that priority with your H1s and H2s. You can't just stuff keywords onto a page, right? Your website still has to be readable. There are ratios you have to honor in order to not get penalized by Google. So make sure that you're utilizing best practice strategies to get all these keywords on your site in a way that optimizes it. And be sure you use all the resources available to you. So use my freebie. I've got this landing page template. It's a great place to start. It gives you an idea of how I would organize information in a way that's SEO rich, readable, and exciting for new customers. If you want to learn more and you feel like you need an intro to SEO, I've got a video for that too. So check out this video. It will give you all the insight you need to know to level set, get a baseline idea of what SEO is and how to get the ball rolling for your brand.